Hello and welcome to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're returning, you'll notice I got a new shimmery background. Uh, not sure if it works well or not, so fingers crossed it looks good because it was difficult and a little bit painful for me to get it up there. Um, so, an excuse for the weird appearance, I've got eye primer on. And I've got scotch tape, going to try and do some sharp angles. As you can see from the title, I bought the Be Perfect Cosmetics um, with Stacey Marie Carnival 3 Love to UT palette. Well, I bought the whole kit because um, it was discounted. And as I've always wanted to buy a full kit, um, usually Colourpop, but they sell up so fast. So when I saw this is in stock, so I have to get it. It comes with a mirror, this beautiful pattern on the back. It's just a normal handheld flat mirror. The palette looks like this. It's quite a big boy. I think it's got it's got 31 vibrant matte shades, four duo shift pressed pigments, three metallics, and two high shimmers. Which sounds great. It comes with some lashes. Um, funnily, the lashes are this way, but the box is this way up. So, Lux silk lashes. Yeah, I'm going to try and wear them. As we know, I don't really do lashes on this channel because I suck at them. It comes with four Get Wet Cream Highlighters. And it comes in with five lipsticks. No, they're called Double Glaze Lip Gloss. Uh, yeah, that was everything. It comes with this little card as well, so I'm just looking on here to see if I was forgetting anything. So I'm going to dive in and hopefully come up with a decent look. One thing about my pain has improved, well it might be improving, is that I've been um, given permission to up one of my medications. So hopefully that will help with my pain. Uh, it's called Pregabalin or Lyrica if you're interested and will follow my pain journey. Well, I assume if you're on my channel you somewhat follow it. What are these colours has got? A line through it. Just move yourself up you naughty boy. Right, so this is what it looks like. This is a super, super colourful palette, of course. Um, I love the packaging, obviously. It's beautiful. Um, all of the lipsticks and the highlighters and even the box that this came in is all this same pattern, which is great. I'm going to dive right in there. I'll see what I can come up with. I don't know. Let's see if I can go in with. Let me think, show you what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking maybe. Because hmm. the look at these shimmers, like Starlight at the top there and Blue Moon down here, are looking so over the top that I feel like I need to play with them so I think I'm going to be sticking to like this side of the palette for now which is like where all the pinks and purples are and I'm going with the colour I think in the top row up here uh, called lilac Wish me luck. Let's see. Take a little bit. I had like one of the uh, previous palettes, the Carnival palette, some Stacey Marie. Um, it's in the drawer next to me. I think I got the Pro one. So it was, she came out with two before, and the Pro one was bigger than the first one. But it was like. The same thing with just a few more colours. 
and I wasn't going to get this and I was trying very hard not to buy new makeup um, but that went out the window much to Tom's dismay but I do what I want because I'm selfish and I, but makeup, buying makeup is the only thing that makes me happy I'm so sad I mean I am sad and it does make me happy I was supposed to be behaving myself and only buying stuff I've actually run out of. Just doing my skincare. It's looking a little bit more pink than lilac in my opinion. It's like a nice baby pink. I guess it looks a little purpley. But it's blending quite nicely. Nice and soft. Do some window wiper motions. Um... If you see anything weird on my face, because I got pimple patches there and there, I got one up here as well. I got this weird thing in my hairline as well. I think like either the dye is coming out on my scalp again or it's skincare. Let's see. I'm gonna basically do I think a cut crease, but. I'm trying to think if I remember how to do this sort of reverse cut crease. So you put like the bright colour that you want and then... Like you put the darker colour down first and then the lighter colour over the top. So that way you don't have to add concealer but I'm not sure if I remember properly how to do that. It might end up being more of a halo look. Because that's easier as well. Or thing. I'm just gonna wing it. So let me get a different brush. I'm thinking of going in with this colour fruity. Let's see how this goes. That's at the bottom row. Maybe put that. Maybe this should go in my crease, you know, deepen up my crease colour a bit. Because the other pink was very light, it wasn't doing much. So how's everybody been? All three people who watch my channel. Oh yeah, fruity, I forgot which colour I was in. Um, another my sister Helen is gonna say hi and comment. I know Tom will probably watch this, but he doesn't usually comment. Um, my friend Ashley might comment, so hi guys. So who's looking forward to Halloween? Who's happy summer is over? I like Halloween a lot. I like all the horror films that are out. I rewatch some ones that I really like, discover some new ones, discover some new ones I don't like. Um, I used to love fancy dress. I used to... I like all the makeup as well but it's so difficult for me to do that. It just knackers my body out. And like last year I did I think was it two or three looks and it killed my body so I'm not doing that this year I know I'm just gonna do at least one look but yeah I'm not gonna go all out because what's the point nobody watches my channel I'm average at best at makeup and uh, it's just not worth me putting myself through that physical pain Since I washed this brush, it's been really weird. Alright, let's go in with, I'm thinking of maybe Blackberry, because this is looking very pink so far. Blackberry is very purple, so let's put that in the outer corner. Yeah. How pretty is this brush? By the way, Ooh, let me hold it that way around. 
this is from Real Techniques, the number 328. It's very dense. Maybe I should have used a fluffier brush, I'm not sure. We'll see. But I am just like trying to pack on the colour here, just to pull it out. It's very pretty, there's no patchiness when I'm putting this out, and no fallout so far. I've recently discovered that the foundation problem I was having where it separates is less of a problem if I don't use primer. So I'm going to skip primer from now on. And I was using, I think it's new, there's, it's definitely new to me, the matte fix plus, but the matte version, it's got like powder in it. And um, that really did keep my skin matte, which is a miracle. I think switching my skincare, I was doing like, you know, the seven skins, I mentioned that a lot. Once I switched that to um, using a thicker essence instead of the toner I was using, my skin has been a lot, like producing a lot less oil. I'm just going to soften that up a little bit more. Because I want it to be pigmented, but I don't want it to be like super harsh. Got a blend. Um, and yeah, so that's made all the difference. And like when I used the MAC Fix Plus as well, my skin was solidly matte. It was so weird that I haven't seen my skin that matte in a long time. So I always prefer to try and go for a more hydrated look. Because my skin is oily but dehydrated. But I was looking really good. There's hair on my palette. Let's see, let's see, should I? I want to use like as many colours as possible. I'm tempted to do like, split my face down the middle, do half one colour, half the other. We'll see. Um, where am I humming the Congo? Um... I can't make up my mind. So I use blackberry as well? Yeah, I think I think I need to keep it the same for consistency in the inner corner. So with this that like, I have such a dry base. Like maybe I let it sit for too long so it's dried in. I used the Sigma Eye Primer again. Kind of blackberry still. I've been listening to Kesha today, so I've got that in my head. Soften this out a little. I feel today that this room just feels like so silent. It's weird. Um, this is like quite out there, I feel. So, can't complain. Just fun. This feels weirdly quiet now. I feel like I need to have music. I was thinking about putting the earphone in my ear, just playing. I'm like playing it on low while I do this, but I feel it'd be hard to listen to music and talk. 
I'm not talented like that. Put some more pink here. Um, this is the lighter purple actually, fruity. Right. Oh, no complaints about this. These colours so far, it's perfect. Oh, I need to make sure I sit back a bit because my back needs support. Let's go in with the starlight colour. But anyway, here, yeah. can you see there? Very light. Um, that's the pearl one. Hang on, let me turn down the light. Oh. There. So it's hard trying to get it like well lit enough so everything can be seen, but not too light that you can't, like it's too white. Otherwise the colour washes me out and it wash, but makes some pigments harder to show up. Right, rose pink. This one has definitely got to be one of the duo um, was it duo chrome? Duo shift on this. Because I can see pink and gold, so obviously duo. Just very pretty down here. Um, and then, yeah, some white for my hands and my trousers. Amethyst next to it is just a solid, deeper purple. And look at that, that was just with one. Swatch my arm. Uh, then blue moon. That's got to be one of the duo ones as well because there's blue and purple in there. I will put a better swatch picture up on my Instagram. Use it. I wish I would have put it on the inside of my arm, it might have been easier. Then JJ. It's a very hot pink one. You can get a lot out in just one um, swipe of it. But I'm... And then I've got rum. I'm going to put that on the top actually. I went in once with rum at the top there. So that's a sort of a bronzy gold. Uh, sometimes it, I think it's called an antique gold. Let's turn down the light again. <laughs> Why is it going so wonky all the way down my arm? Jeez. Um, let me use my other hand. Tahiti green, very shimmery. Very, it's a very yellow green. Very lime. There you go. I think you can see that a little bit better. And vanilla. But one doesn't come up very much on my skin. But it is pretty. I think that's all the shimmery ones. So. I think it's gonna have to buy I don't know if I should go starlight or blue moon. It's both so pretty I went to <laughs> Let's go with Let's go with blue moon and some blue up in this beach. A bluey purple. Okay, 
Come on. That's so pretty. Look at that. I think if I look down, you can see it properly. I'm not sure. I won't know until I edit it, but hopefully that came up okay. What I'm going to do is take a clean brush if I can buy one. Yes, this one will do. I'm going to use a brush. Let's wet the brush and see how that goes. Use a priming spray there, the knockoff one of a, of a Mac Fix Plus. See, is it better to use a wet brush or fingers? Hmm, it's about the same really. I wonder if I should have cut um, some concealer there. You know, to give it something to help it really pop. But I think that's like, it's popping but it's not like absurd. Let me know what you think. Do you know, I swear I had trousers that were sort of like this colour, but like a little darker. Back in primary school. Does it catch slightly differently? Have a look. Well, that was awkward. The camera died then. Uh, well, it switches itself off after like half an hour or something. Um, so yeah, then I was going to put this shimmery shade on uh, my lower line as well. I'm going to use a really thin brush. I have no idea where this brush is from. So yeah, blue moon. Mm. Oh. I should have tapped it a little softer, but yeah. Put that in the centre. It's always a bit feels a bit weird putting shimmer down there, but there we go. Go back in with a slightly wet brush.
then I'm gonna get a cream liner that's not part of this thing quickly. I think adding some a green line underneath would look nice. This is um, a gel cream liner from Colourpop. Right, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then come back and use the um, highlighter and the lip gloss from this palette. Uh, okay, I'm back and as you can see, I've run stuff on my face and I've got false lashes on. Let me tell you, this is so difficult. I swear it took me like an hour to put on lashes. Maybe half an hour, but I think it's closer to an hour. This one messed up the eyeshadow a bit and then I kept gluing like my lashes together, like gluing my lower um, eyelid and that. It was so difficult. I need to get better eyelashes. I gotta practice. But I'm terrible at that sort of stuff. I always forget as well. Um so I'm going to do the last two parts. Oh, these lashes were part of the set, um, if you remember from the beginning of the video. I got four highlighters and I put them on the back of my hands. i got to say, I'm not impressed. Oop, turn the lights not that far down. Can you see? They barely show up. That's just the back of my hand. So, I need to put this back on. For consistency reasons. So, I'm gonna put, I think the medium goldy color here. I'm gonna put on one side, this is. The color is called Soft Silk. Um, Unique creamy formula buildable from soft luminous glow through to blinding highlight. So Yeah, that's what that looks like. This is um very like a champagne gold I'd say And there's one that's like a white But it's got like lots of little um Blues and greens in there and I can see some like you know it's a bit one of those colors are a bit shifty like multi-chrome instead of duochrome. Um, lots of different colour sparkles in there. I need to say as well, look at the packaging. I forgot to show you the packaging. They're so stunning. So like shiny. And the purple bit is like more matte. Um, the, the darker purple I mean. That's beautiful. This one says Do You. Flawless dewy glow with a pink champagne finish. Ooh. Don't know if you can see that's very pink. So get a brush. A nice fluffy one, I think. And alright, let's see if we can build any of these bad boys up. Um I think which one's gonna go better with my complexion. I think maybe the dark gold should be okay. Let's see. Just swiping it over the top. Yeah, that's showing up. I can see that's very gold. It's like Welsh accent for some reason. It's because Tom keeps doing the Welsh accent even though I don't like it. So it gets stuck in my head. Do that nice C shape. Mm. 
Just trying to see if the camera's picking up. I'm hoping there's not too much light bouncing off it. Let me turn down the light a little. Can you see that? I mean, the light's still like bouncing off it like mad. So, that's good, I guess. All right, let me turn it back up a little. Um, I'm gonna use that one again. Let's go over the top, see if we can build this color. Very, very gold. Let me know, do you think it's blinding? Do you think it's not blinding? Do you think it's somewhere in the middle? I'd say that's almost blinding. It's reflecting the light massively. That's stressful. Like, like the two gold shimmer colours are so similar. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe I just got two the same and I just think they're different. I'm just watching on my hands a second. Yeah, I'm sure they're the same. That is really confusing. I think I've got two identical ones. I think I'll clean it with some al alcohol uh, spritz and then give it to a friend. I don't feel right putting it in a giveaway because my hands have been all over it. Right. Let's pop. Alright, let's pop that gold one on this side too. I'll have to contact them and let them know that I think I got two the same. struggle doing my left side for some reason. Well I guess because I'm right handed. Do the same swirliness. The girliness and the swirliness. Right. I don't like does it match? Like that's super gold there, this is not looking Super gold. It might say that it's a cream highlight, but it's not actually a cream product, so it's fine sitting on the top of powder. Oh yeah, now that I've got it, this angle, I can see that's a lot of gold. Okay, let me stop there. Try and have some self control. Let's see, I got another brush. Do I have a clean one that's not full of eyeshadow? This one will do. I'm going to try and softly... No, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to use my fingers. Softly use the pink one. Do you. I'm going to spot that in my brow bone. I think that's not bad at all. Can you see it? I won't know until I'm editing if you can see this. Don't over shimmer up there. And then I'm going to take the white, the icy white one, and put that in the corner. So pretty. This white one, the sheen one, reminds me of one of the Rihanna ones. I think it's was it the diamond bomb one, something like that. It builds up nicely in the corners, which is good. And then, let me close those. Keep them safe. And last but not least, for three uh, the half hour makeup journey <sighs> lips I have 
all five lip the lip glosses called double glazed lip gloss so the lightest color is called starkers which is a very light i guess pinky nude or just light nude that's too light for my complexion a nice lilac one called girl code code i have hair on my lip my hair's getting everywhere because i just brushed it um petticoat is a nice hot pink and a more coral color sweet spot this is nice and then a more of a blue or bluish purple called ink question is which of these is going to go with this the answer none of them i'm thinking would blue work I think the pink might work, the hot pink. I don't think the coral quite works. This one might be too samey with this. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. But let's go for the hot pink colour, petticoat. I'm not going to use a lip liner just because I don't want it to, um, you know, affect it. Affect the colour at all. So if it's a uh, liquid lip. Let's see how that goes on. That's a nice shade, I think. <laughs> my oils are coming through because this took so long. I didn't set my face with powder because I'm going to wash this off pretty quickly. It's 12.30 and I say this. At 9.30. Oh, this only took me three hours, actually, because I forgot. I, I came in here at nine. So it took me, like, half an hour to set up everything and take everything out of its package and that. I'm just trying to get as crisp a line as I can get it. You get a lot of colour coming out on the applicator like I haven't had to dip it loads yet there's only a second dip oh look at that it's so shiny and pink I really like that damn it's glossy go over my funny shaped lips I say funny shape because I've got like a scar going through my lip. I don't know if I told the story of that, but um, when I was in primary school, I believe it was on my birthday when I was 11, my teeth went through my lip. Colliding, like the teeth was wobbly and I collided with a boy's head. They both sort of running in opposite directions. I was looking behind at the person, the plane, like chasing me. I turn around and suddenly like whap, the head was in my way. Bing bang boom. Mm, don't press your lips together like that. That takes away a lot of the colour from the centre. I wonder if I should wipe off the Vaseline that was on my lips. Maybe they were too greasy. I think the Vaseline's making it hard for it to stay. Mm, I don't want to press them together after what happened just a minute ago. Alright. That's it. We're done. I gotta say, I've not seen a lot of colour from like my brush and my blonde my blonzer. <laughs> I use the Cheek Leader Bronze Squad one from Benefit. No, no, I think you can see a little bit of blush. I'm being really fussy because I'm not going anywhere. I just I want it to look good in pictures. Oh, it's gonna look, you know, a bit weird. I 
sometimes you end up with like a really blank thing here if you haven't put like enough bronzer and stuff in your face. I use the caramel to sort of just warm up my face like a halo shape. Put a smidge under my chin as well. Trying to make my face look less fat. And that's it. That is the finished look. I'm <laughs> leaving it as that. I'm done. I'm tired. Tell me what you think. I like it. I like actually having pink and green eyes. Like my makeup. It looks very um I like cartoonish but in a good way, like very sixties vibes I'm getting. But sixties wasn't like this at all, I don't think so. When you see sixties makeup you don't think colourful, but anyway. I know people do those poses after, don't they? I don't know. I'm not very good at it, as you can see. I'm not really a posy sort of person. I'm more of a make a silly face. Try to hide my double chin. Oh yeah, let me close my eyes as well as you can see. The green one got really messed up, but the purple one on the right side is my preferred uh, side. This is beautiful, pretty, stunning, and this is just crazy. But yeah, anyway, bye for now. Um, oh yeah, like and subscribe.